Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, Kyle Krieger here, and today I have a special guest on Uncut, Andy. How are you? <laughs> this is Andy Grammer, and he's a singer, songwriter, artist. He's on tour right now with Gavin DeGraw. But today I'm here. But <laughs> today, Andy's here on Uncut, and we're gonna give a haircut shape up, clean yeah, up. I'm excited. And a little style. And I just got to know your dog, Luna. Yes, and we, we exchanged it's dog really, photos. We exchanged dog photos, we're like all ready to go. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna go get shampooed, and we're gonna come back and do a little cut. And now we're gonna use Mr. Pompadour's peppermint shampoo. Born in LA, raised in New York, and mm -hmm. now you're back in Los Angeles. Can you elaborate on your story there? Because you have a pretty cool story about how you started singing. My mom wanted to move to Los Angeles, so she got me, my brother, and my dad to all get out there. And then once I was out there, I started performing out on the street. Third Street Promenade, just started busking. Could you tell that you were gonna have a hit song when oh, people no. would stop and like, you're like, wow, this song is great. It's very, it's a very slow process, but it's a very real process, which is what you need when you're starting, I think in any art form. So you play for your parents and your family and they're all like, you're good, you're really good. <laughs> And then you head out to the street and you play and nobody stops or cares. Uh, <laughs> and you're like, all right, so I got a couple things to work on. What do you daydream about? Right now, I daydream about what it would be like to just have like three weeks off. And what would you do? So if you- I have no idea. So, but like- uh, And the truth is like, even if that happened, I don't think I would want to be away for that long. Yeah. I love what I do. Yeah, I get You know, I'm, I'm so lucky to be on stage and I write music during the day and I'm so lucky. If I daydream, I'm like, oh man, what if I just like went home for three weeks? <laughs> is that crazy? Just like, just like sat in my nook with my bulldogs. Like yeah. that's my that's my daydream. Say like someone told you that the world was gonna end in like 30 days, and you had to pick like three things you definitely wanted to do. I haven't been to Japan, which that I really be, want to go to because be cool. I love robots, and that's like the number one spot for robots. <laughs> I love that you're into AI. Yeah. Totally. Have you been watching Westworld? I love Westworld. Ah! If you could have a superpower, what would that superpower be? Okay, so the first thing that's coming to my brain right now, I wish that I had like a little button in my brain that just could rhyme, like a rhyming dictionary. <laughs> For what? Because I'm writing music all the time. Yeah. I could see every rhyme of a word. When you sit down to write a song, what do you, like what normally do you draw from? Sometimes you sit down and you know, okay, I want to write about this, this touched me or this moved me. And then a lot of times you don't even know yet. You just sit down and you just start kind of like swinging in different directions to see what, what brings up something. Yeah. You know? I love to look at words as like, um, as like players that haven't been in the game. So a coach will like, hey, uh, I don't know, snake eyes, it's your turn. And you're like, snake eyes, oh shit. And you call it up and you go like, are you the next cool awesome word that everybody needs? I to got that, yeah, so I, I like, like that. that. How, like, do you have like a favorite lyric of a song? What so my favorite lyric of the last couple years is this song by Ben Rector. And he has a song called The Men That Drive Me Places. And it's all about how he like humbly is kind of saying, if you get to know the people that are like doing the jobs that are in service of you. Yeah. Oh, how am I the only one who knows I'm half the man of the men that drive me places. It's so good. Well, thank you for singing on your channel. Totally. When you hear music, do you hear the lyrics first or the music first? It's always, for me, it's always lyrics. Lyrics first. Like, I am more drawn to, I'm like a, I, I'm more drawn to the lyrics, like, or <clears throat> for example, like, I love Florence and the Machine lyrics. Yeah. I love Mumford lyrics. Totally. I love Sia lyrics. See, like, I love people with, like, really big voices mm -hmm. and great lyrics. Do you believe in parallel universes? Maybe. <laughs> Possibly. I love that you're so I can't, I can't count it out, yeah. So, do you know anything about the Mandela effect? I don't. Tell me. Mandela okay, well, effect. I don't really know that much either, but it's a theory. It's not an actual proven thing. So, it's easy to explain in an example. Okay. Like, what, you know the movie Snow White? Yeah. What did the queen say to the mirror on the wall? Mirror, mirror on the wall who's the fairest of them all. Yeah, see? Which is how everyone remembers it. It's not how it is. No, it, what she says in this universe that we're in now, which I'm alluding to the, potentially there's multiple ones, <laughs> yeah. that it's magic mirror on the wall. And if you go anywhere online to find, it has, it will only say magic mirror. Really? Isn't that so weird? That's pretty weird. The Mandela Effect is an idea that everyone, rem not everyone, but the majority, a huge amount of people remember something in some way, and it's not that way. And so it's the explanation that potentially there is a different universe that maybe there was a time traveler that went back and changed uh, a really little thing that changed a bunch of little things. Okay. Anyway, this is like a popular very YouTube possible. topic. Okay, I love Who it. Knows? Who I knows? Mean, 
Right? Would you be offended if someone went back in time and one of your song lyrics was changed? I mean, I mean, yeah, I would be very <laughs> offended. Do not change, don't change my shit. <laughs> Let's talk about your most recent hit that I love so much, it's um, called Fresh Eyes. Thank you so much. Can you explain the concept and the motive behind this video and why it's so special? Because I think it's really special. Yeah, so I was a street performer like we talked about. Yeah. And out in Santa Monica, there's a lot of homeless people. Yeah. So I was... In Los Angeles. In Los Angeles. There's over 45,000 uh, homeless people in Los Angeles. That's so many people. That is so many people. And so I would get to know them while I was out there street performing. And so the, the, the issue became pretty close to my heart. Yeah. So Fresh Eyes is kind of about rediscovering love with someone or finding like like little things that surprise you and you and you re-remember like, ah, I, I love you so much. Those little moments happen yeah. all the time. And we thought it would be so sweet to go do that with the homeless population down on Skid Row. And so we gave them kind of makeovers and we brought in clothes and we captured uh, their feelings. Yeah. And it was really, really It was beautiful. Powerful. I was look. you have to go check out it this really video. Powerful. It's so beautiful. I couldn't stop smiling. Like watching the video, you just feel so, it's so heartwarming. You just it's can't stop smiling when you so see sweet, man. their like, like, reaction. The opportunity to give that much love to someone who needs it is, yeah. is a really, really, it's so simple too. It was the best day of my year. I'm so, so, yeah, no. so happy to be part of it. Okay, so we're gonna give Andy a little bit of hype. How we're gonna do that is. Hello, dryer. So we're gonna use Mr. Pompadour's texture powder just to make sure that the volume holds. This finishing touch, we're gonna use Mr. Pompadour's beeswax paste. Your hair looks great already. Thank you so much. You have great hair. The good hair comes from your mom's dad. Is that what it is? So if you want to know how your hair is going to look, you can just look at your mom's dad or yep. pictures. Or We're using this wax. We're just going to put it throughout his hair. So this beeswax has a strong hold. It's still malleable. You can still run your hands through it throughout the day. You're not committed to any position. Dude, you're killing it. Nice. You're looking good, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, guys. So this is it. Thank you so much. Um, make sure you go check out, <laughs> make sure you go check out Andy's video, Fresh Eyes. I'll put the link down below. And you can go to andygrammar.com. You can check out all his tour dates. You can go see him on tour. So thank you so much for watching. And Andy, thank you so much for awesome. coming. Awesome, thanks for having me. Yeah, we'll see you. Bye guys.